In this video I want to show the bugs with the current 3D connection driver using Maya 2014. And I'm using the Space Pilot Pro, but I will assume that the bugs uh, also apply to these other 3D connection products. And you'll see as of this moment, Space Pilot Pro, Windows 7 64-bit, I'm supposed to be using 3.16.3. And that is the driver that I'm using, and I'm using Maya 2014. To show the first problem, I'm going to make a sphere and we're going to give it some detail. So I'm going to increase the segments to 128. And now I'm going to add some history to it. So let's just start creating some uh, edge loops. And you'll see it's running a little slow. And if you look in the script editor, there's all this extra stuff being pumped into it. This result set one, set two, set one, set two. It's polluting the display all over the place, which um, essentially makes this pretty, uh, well, not useless, but if I need to copy and paste any of this, um, it's just going to be really cluttered with all this. And this is all being output by the Space Pilot Pro. And uh, so let me add a few more edge loops here. You can see how slow everything is going. It's just taking a long time to add, add these edge loops and it shouldn't. So let me go into the 3D mouse driver. I'm going to turn off this auto option. And now let me start adding edge loops again. You can see it's a lot faster. It's still kind of slow. That's it's, it's lagging a little bit because of my screen capture software. But you can see it's going faster than it was before. And we're not getting all this extra junk being output. So you think, okay, we'll just turn off the auto option and then you'll be okay. But no, you won't be okay because I like to use the auto option. And I like to use use selected item. With both of these activated, it means that if nothing is selected, it's going to automatically calculate the center of rotation based on what I'm currently looking at. So you can see the blue center of rotation indicator changes to what's kind of in the center of the screen. That's the auto feature. That's very nice. If I don't have anything selected and I'm trying to navigate through something, the center of rotation is going to be either at the less selected object or at the center of the screen. And that's not always what you want. So auto is a good thing to have on. Also, the use selected item is a good thing to have on because that means if I have a sub object selection, like let's say this vertex, it's going to use that as my center of rotation which is very handy. If I have a bunch of vertices selected, it'll calculate the center of those and oops, I'm selecting some on the other side. Well, it'll calculate the uh, center of the selection and use that as the uh, center of rotation, which is very nice. So I very much prefer to have auto and use selected item enabled. So to say turn off auto and that'll fix the problems, that's not good enough. It's, it's a bug which should be fixed. So I've shown you the all this stuff that gets sent out to the script editor which pollutes the script editor and it slows down the processing speed which makes navigation jerky. So let's take a closer look at what happens uh, during different scenarios with respect to when the 3D connection driver is going to be outputting this stuff. If I have nothing selected, you'll see that nothing gets sent to the script editor window. Everything's fine. If I were to select this object, now you can see over here, every time I move and let go of the 3D mouse, it does something in the background and it outputs a new set of this stuff to the script editor. If I'm in a component mode, let's just choose Edge for example, if nothing is selected, once again, everything seems to be okay. If I select one edge, everything still seems to be okay. But if I select a lot of edges, you'll see it starts doing it again. And also, it, you might not be able to tell from the video, but right now I'm actually moving the 3D mouse around a lot, but it's only updating 
every second or so. So I'm, it's it's really useless right now with all this stuff it's doing in the background. It's just slowing everything down. So another thing I found was uh, I, I showed you that uh, if you have one component selected, it doesn't do it. If I have a couple of components selected, or let's try four, it's still not doing it. Let's try selecting some that are not part of that same edge loop. That didn't do it. But if I select one here and one somewhere on the other side of the object, now it's doing it again. And I'm trying to navigate, but it's being really jerky. I'm moving the mouse right now, but it's, it's not moving much at all on the screen. Another problem with this driver is that you can't always access a component level on an object. For example, let's try this one. I'm going to try to access the vertices. And it worked here. So let's try um, finding the, the edge components. And that worked. Let's try face. That worked. OK, so everything seems fine. Let's hop over to this sphere and try the same thing. Let's go to the edge level. and nothing happened. You can see in the script editor it, it, it for whatever reason it chose to deselect objects when I tried to, well it chose to deselect vertices when I went to the edge level. Why that is I don't know so let's try accessing the vertex level. That worked. Um, I had a stored selection in here so let me just clear that selection out. Let's go back to vertex make sure, whoop, now I can't go to vertex anymore. Well let's try face. Face works. I have something selected in this level. So let me keep a selection here and then let's hop out of there. Let's try to go back to face. And that worked. Let's try uh, clearing that selection. And now let me try going to face again. And now I can't. I don't know why. Uh, this object still works okay. Let's try clearing out the current. So now no faces are selected. I'm going to hop into object mode. Let's try to go back to face mode. And it still works. So this object. Uh, seems to be working okay. This one does not. They're both simple polygon primitive spheres. Nothing special going on. So face doesn't work. Edge doesn't work. So now let me try turning off my auto option for the Space Pilot Pro. Now it worked. Let's try Vertex. Vertex worked. So turning off auto fixed the problem. But let's try turning auto back on. And it's back to working. Yep, it works again after turning auto back on. But I guarantee as I continue to work, pretty soon I'm going to come to a point again where I'm not able to go to a component level. And I'll have to turn off auto or restart it or whatever